By the end of this tutorial, you will have a basic understanding of the graph editor, the dope sheet, and be able to create more complex animations with combinations of changing parameters. The animation that we're going to create will be a rolling ball, so we will delete the original cube by selecting the right mouse button, pressing delete, and then enter it to confirm. We'll then add a UV sphere by pressing Shift A, selecting Mesh, then UV sphere. For this example, the size of the sphere will be 1. So ensure that we're in frame 1 of the animation, and set the location and rotation of the cube to 0 by using I. We'll then move the time slider to 100. We will then set the Y location to 10, and press I to set and the X rotation to minus 900 and I to set. These values give the impression of a rolling ball. We'll then return to frame 1 by pressing on this button, which returns to the first frame in a frame range, and then play through. We will now go into the dope sheet which is used to control timing. and we'll change the length of the animation from 100 frames to 50 frames by right clicking on the sphere action diamond here and moving it to 50 as accurately as I can now if we drag this slider we can see that the ball moves faster than before when working with the dope sheet or the graph editor I often split the window and add a timeline because I find the timeline is easier to navigate and it gives you a better impression of what's going on. We could also alter the spinning rate in the X direction by right clicking on X Euler rotation and making it longer. This will mean that the ball will keep spinning longer but at a slower rate. So in fact it keeps spinning after the ball has finished moving. We'll now go into the graph editor which is used for controlling timing and the attributes at key frames. The graph editor gives finer precision and allows you to alter transitions between key frames which are calculated as curves. You can select key frames for specific attributes by right clicking on them. I have selected Y location and if I right click on this side and drag, I can make the ball speed up towards the end of the animation. Equally we could add some sideways spin in the Y axis, so I'll hide these other parameters to make it easier to see, and as it's currently not moving, it's a flat line. However, there have been keyframes created. We created keyframes for all of the rotation axes at the same time. However, if you want to add an additional keyframe, you can select one of the points on the line to tell Blender which line you want to alter press control left mouse button and it will add another keyframe you can then hold right mouse button down to alter the speed at which it changes and the magnitude of change or you could change the actual keyframe itself that's it for this tutorial see you in the next tutorial for rendering your animation uploading it on YouTube and exporting it for use in game engines